Hello and welcome to this 8th video tutorial from 40frog.com. In this tutorial I'm going to show you how to create a very nice render, realistic rendering with um, HDR imaging and global illumination. Um, this is a character uh, one, two, thumb and make sure to watch the previous video because in that one I already created all these um, materials and I designed that to the object itself. Um, see this is the icon of my game. Uh, which I'm going to show you how to create like this rendering in here. Let's do the render, render view. You see, you can't even see any reflection and, you know, it's it's not nice. Now, the next step is you're going to create an object called sky object, which is very, very important. Think about that as like a huge sphere that includes everything and it has like a lot of like a lighting itself. Um, sky. And then now I'm going to render it again. You see it's already changing, you see some reflection in here, some shadows, and it's much, much better. But then, uh, this is a very important step right now. I'm going to go to the file and I'm going to create a new material. I want to assign a map to my sky and now I'm going to create the map itself. Double click on the material and then on the luminance, um, go to the texture tab and then add this HDR image to that. Um, HDR images are actually, um, you can download them free the internet. Um, I'm going to have a link on my website so you can download them from the free sites which I got this one from them and then do the open and yes and uh, I'm going to call this one HDR. I'm going to bring the brightness a little bit like a lower and then go to the color change this color to something a little bit dar darker because otherwise it's going to be just like too bright. Um, I think it's good and then the next step is assign this HDR to the sky and then now I'm gonna render this one. See nothing changed that much the only thing is you see all this reflection and these lights but then still it's not like very you know just like a nice rendering. The last step is you go to the render and then go to the render setting go to the effects and add global illumination which global illumination um, lets you actually dramatically improve the lighting and the realism of the image by adding a lot of indirect lighting. So it's on, close, and then now this time do the rendering again. See, it might take a while also, especially if you have a slow computer. Just be patient because the result is really, really good. Um, there's some way to optimize this process, but I'm not going to you know, go through them in this video. And also there are just a lot of other ways to do the create nice rendering, but I think like this way it's very, very simple and it's really easy to, you know, just like a create very professional 3D rendering without that much effort. Okay, that's it. Um, I hope you like it. And again, this video brought to you by 40frog.com. Thank you so much.